Okay, so now let me tell you the one you've been waiting to hear, the third element of the power of three. You've been waiting for that one, right? It's what my colleagues often refer to as Deborah's secret sauce. But honestly, it's not really mine. It's been around for several thousands of years. It's what I like to refer to as the ancient laws of manifestation. As taught by the Essenes, uh, it comes from uh, elements of ancient, really ancient Hebrew. The Aborigines, the native peoples of the Americas, the shaman, it's a little bit of magic. Let me give you an example. I had a client recently who grew her company 298 million percent in just eight months. Do you think you do that? Do you think you have that level of explosive growth with smart business tools alone? or smart success tools alone? No, it's the power of three and it's adding that in. So, so what do I mean when I say ancient laws of manifestation? Okay, do you remember a few years ago there was this movie that kind of exploded onto the scene. It was based on what people refer to as the law of attraction. It, the secret, do you remember the secret? Well, there's a lot more depth to it than what people learned in The Secret. And one of the things that I hear from people all the time is the law of attraction doesn't work. I've tried, I've tried to make it work, it doesn't work. I've been studying ancient laws of manifestation for the past 30 years. And I promise you, they do work, but you have to know what you're doing and you have to use them right. So, so let's talk about if you've tried it, why it's not working for you and how you can make it work for you. Say you want something really, really bad. Let's, uh, let's $10 million. Everybody wants money, right? Or most people do. So that's an easy one to play with. Say you want $10 million. And I say to you, do you believe you deserve $10 million? Of course. Sure you do. Okay. Do you think that you can achieve getting $10 million? Okay. You're not so sure, right? All right. So here's a, here's a little exercise that I want you to try. In your head, you say, yes, I want $10 million. Yes, I believe that I deserve it. But what feeling are you feeling right here, right here in your gut? You know, some of you will know it as your solar plexus. Other people will just call it your gut. You know, that area right above your belly button. Do you feel a little bit of a twinge there? A slight discomfort? Say, say to yourself or say out loud, I deserve $10 million right now. What's your gut say? What is your gut saying to you? Because here's what happens. If you have a core belief that is opposite of what you say you want in your head, your core belief will win 100% of the time. So if you say, I want $10 million, I deserve $10 million and you know the law of attraction, the secret says, you know, visualize and think about it and visualize and think about it. It doesn't matter what's happening in your head. If in your core, you know that you can't have it or you believe that you don't deserve it, that will win every time. I, I'll give you a, a little great example from my personal life. I have always wanted to live on the water. I love water. I have a fountain at my front door. I have a fountain at my back door. In my house, I have four fountains. I love the sound of water. I like the feel of water. I like everything about water. So I've always really wanted to have a house on the water. So I'm getting ready to buy a new house some years ago and I decide I really want to have a house on the water. This is, this is going to be it. So I'm looking at houses and, and you know, I, it was at a time in my life where I had decided I'm done with the 80 hour work weeks. I'm done with working myself into oblivion. I'm going to have a more relaxed life. I'm going to buy a new house. I'm going to cut back my hours to something reasonable, maybe even less than reasonable. And what happened was, as I'm looking for houses, I'm, I had the money to buy, buy one. 
But you know, the ones on the water were more expensive than the ones that weren't on the water. So as I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, can I combine the buying of a house on the water that's more expensive with the cutting back in hours? Now see, I grew up with a work ethic that says you have to work hard. The harder you work, then maybe you will deserve to have nice things. But if you're not working your fingers to the bone, then you're not gonna get those nice things. That was the work ethic that I grew up with. So my core belief was, if I was gonna have nice things, if I was going to have that house on the water, I had to be working around the clock. But I'm changing my lifestyle so that I'm working far less than what I was originally working, right? The two didn't work out. In my head, I want a house on the water, it's more expensive. My body's saying, my gut's saying, uh-uh, you can't have that because you're not working yourself into an early grave. So what happened was, my desire was so strong, and my core belief was so strong, that I ended up manifesting a house. I, just, I ultimately decided, no, look, I'm not gonna spend the money for a house on the water. I'm gonna just get a nice house, which I did. I got a very nice house. But a few months after moving in, I look out my bedroom window and I notice that what I thought was a drainage ditch behind the house was full of flowing water. It was a farm irrigation ditch. So I manifested for myself a house on the water, but because my core belief was so strong, I didn't manifest exactly the house that I wanted on the water. Have any of you ever done that? Have you done that where, you know, you, you know I, you really want something and you'll get like half of it or you'll get a third of it. You don't really fully get it. Here's what happened. It's your core belief. So, so what do you do about core beliefs and how do you get them out of your way? Because that is the number one thing that you need to do. I call it a block to success. You've got to eliminate blocks to success. So the first thing is to start really noticing what your core beliefs are. Do you even know what you believe? I mean, you know, if I said, do you believe you deserve to be happy? Yes, I deserve to be happy. Do you believe that you deserve to have, you know, enough to eat and a great home? You may say, yes, I believe to have all those things. But if you don't have them, and this is really important, write this down. If there's something that your head says that you want, but you don't have it, you probably have a core belief that is standing in your way. So the first thing, and I'm not saying you need to go into 12 or months or 24 months of therapy. They can be eliminated absolutely just like that. There are tools for doing that that we'll get into another time. But the first thing is to figure out what your core beliefs are because the way quantum physics works, the way energy works is if you have a belief the energy that your body emits is it goes out and it pulls in, it attracts law of attraction. It attracts all of the little things that are going to support your core belief. So if your core belief is that you have to work really hard to have success, only things that you're going to pull in are things that support that belief. If you believe that Here's another really great story. If you believe that the world is a friendly place, I know two people who moved into the same neighborhood. One person's experience of the neighborhood was that everybody was so friendly and lovely and it was a wonderful place to live. The other person's perception of the neighborhood was that nobody was friendly, they were never out in the yards, they never talked to each other. They lived in the same neighborhood, they lived like three houses apart from each other. They had completely different experiences. The reason is because one person believed that every time somebody didn't say hello to her, they were rejecting her. The other person believed that everyone that they encountered was just a potential new friend. So they had the same neighborhood, completely different experiences because their bodies went out and said, bring to me all of the data that supports what my core belief says it is. So as you're going through growing your business, as you're developing your career, you want to have that exponential growth. Remember we said, if you want to take your company from a $2 million company to a $5 million company, or if you want to take your company from a $10 million company to a $200 million company, if it's not happening for you, 
One of the reasons, I guarantee you, is that you have core beliefs that are standing in your way. And we have to do things to eradicate them, but we have to first decide, figure out what they are first. Does that make sense to everyone? So one of the things that I want you to do when you go home tonight, start thinking of all of the things you've worked really hard for, all of the things that you've wanted, that you've tried to visualize, that you've tried to manifest, that you've tried to create. If they're not in your life, really start thinking, what are the beliefs that are stopping you? What's blocking you from that success? And then start shifting that belief. And in, you know, in another time, invite me back. I'll be happy to come back and talk to you about specifically, specific tools, how you shift those core beliefs and how you get them out of your life. Because you literally can do it in an instant. So that, my friends, is the power of three. And what I always say to myself is, you know, if I can have one tool that's helping me get a little success and another tool that's helping me get a little success what if I combine all three of them your success will be exponential and that's why I teach the power of three when you're ready for more get the full live training at quantumsuccessacademy.org forward slash live I really look forward to helping you